What is up, car addicts? In this video, we're customizing the brand new Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire. This car is part of the Casino DLC drip feed. We it's finally here, arguably the most anticipated car in the entire DLC, and so we first saw the leaked pictures and all that. It is now officially in GT Online as of September 5th, 2019 at about 4.15 a.m. Eastern Time. It is officially available for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. You go on the Southern San Andreas website and you'll see it here, $745,000 very very exciting i mean i've been waiting for this car for a long time the community as well we've been wanting a new modern gauntlet in the game forever and it is finally here so i already purchased it here it is right here i have all the normal gauntlets in the background the regular gauntlet the redwood the gauntlet classic that also came in this dlc the dukes just got mopar nation here in this first floor so just looks phenomenal so you can see the normal gauntlet here next to it and they aren't very similar. I mean, this this one has these little side pins here inspired by a Camaro. They took that out, thank God, because that just looked awful. The tail lights on this one are very similar to a normal gauntlet, as you can see, but these have more of like an LED style to them. And the fender flares or wide body kit, whatever you want to call it, has been very uh, controversial with this in real life, but it, it looks very good. It's very, very similar to the one in real life just looks absolutely amazing so the community has kind of been split half and half as to what this car is based off of in real life half the community says Hellcat the other half says Demon nobody is really wrong but I think it's closer to the Demon and I'm gonna explain why so if we look at the stock wheels right here of the Hellfire and then we look at the stock wheels of a Dodge Demon you can see the star a styled wheel the pattern it's extremely, extremely similar to the stock Dodge Demon wheels. Not only that, the very large tire profile from the Dodge Demon is also on the Hellfire stock. That is for the uh, drag radial type of thing that they did for the car in real life. You need that large profile for drag racing. And they did a very similar styled wheel here on the Hellfire and tire as well. So I think Rockstar intended this to be based off primarily the Dodge Demon. That's just my opinion. Obviously, if you really look at it, I mean, as soon as you change the wheels, it can be based off of any Challenger wide body. The Scat Pack wide body, the Hellcat Red Eye wide body, the normal Hellcat wide body, or a Demon. So it could be any of those cars as soon as you change the wheels. But stock, I think it's based off the Dodge Demon. Just my opinion. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'll see what kind of customization we got here. I'm super excited to drive this thing too after we're done with the customization. Do some wheelies and all that. It's going to be amazing. Right on the D-pad to modify. What are we doing today? One thing that's really cool here, if you see the hood, you see that center portion, that's actually attached directly to the motor. So this car comes with kind of like a shaker stock, which is really, really cool. So you got armor, brakes, front bumpers. So you have the stock front splitter, and then you can start getting different colored versions of that. You got carbon, primary, secondary, secondary front bumper. Let's put our splitter and then carbon. So they're all the same splitter, just different color variations here and there. So I'm going to go with the stock one, and there's a reason for that. Next up, we got the rear bumper, which is just a wheelie bar and a parachute. So that's pretty sick. If you want to make this like a full on drag car, you can put that on there if you really want to. You got engine exhaust so you got the stock exhaust here you got big bore you got tuner race and then you got side exit which looks kind of cool but then you still have these holes back here so that's kind of sad and a titanium version of that so the race ones i feel are a little bit too large so i'm going to go with the tuners that are a little bit smaller next up we got grill so you got grill delete you can just have no grill at all which i find just absolutely hilarious then you have a secondary grill, you got a black grill, and then you got the open grill, which this is the most similar to a real Challenger that you're going to get, you know, as far as Demon goes, or Hellcat. I'm going to go with the black open grill, love that. Headlight covers, so you got black grill cover, it's interesting. Chrome version of that. Then you got dual headlight intakes, so the Demon does have headlight intakes, but it has four lights, so four, um individual headlights even though 
they're both individually one unit, so you have two headlights in a sense, but two of them are intakes, whereas the other two on the outside are actual working lights. So on this car, since you only have two, you kind of lose your headlights, which is kind of sad. So you kind of have to make a compromise as to what you want. You want the intakes or you want the headlights? I prefer the headlights, but you know everybody has their preferences. And then you got a single light cover, which looks weird. And then light cover and intake, and then just dual light covers. Then you can do a mesh grill cover. Not sure why you do that. Plated front, and then you got the bull bars. So this is very similar to if you guys remember from Fast and Furious Seven, the scene where they jump the lime green challenger off the plane which Letty was driving the bull bar in the front is very similar to this not sure why Rockstar added that I guess if you want to do like a Fast and Furious build or something I don't know but it's there so I'm not gonna be doing any of these not really feeling any of this stuff here I wanna keep my headlights and I don't really like any of those other grills so leave that we got hood so you have the smooth hood versus the stock one that's a shaker then you got secondary version of that. Then you got a carbon stock hood. Then you got a primary vented hood. This looks phenomenal. So you keep the shaker, and then you got vents on the sides. Kind of similar to a Hellcat hood in a sense, where you got the heat extractors on the side. I think that's pretty cool. Then you got a secondary vented hood, carbon version of that. Then here we just got all the blowers. So you got a dual filter, large filter. You got the oval intake bug catcher. Got the triple intake buck hatcher, and you can see the valves actually work there, which is awesome. So that's all of those there. So I'm gonna be going with the this one, to which in my opinion is kind of similar to like a Hellcat styled um, hood. So I like this one a lot. Very nice. Next up, headlights. So it it already comes with like LED, so I'm just gonna throw the xenons on there, get it a little more blue. And you can see Rockstar even did kind of like the halo rings around the headlights, I mean, wow, they just, they went all out. I'm just beyond excited for this car. So we got the dual white stripes. Okay, dual red stripes. Okay, dual blue. All right. This one, Bravado Billboard, that is awesome. That looks really sick. Very nice. This one you got black racer stripes, so you got black stripes, and then you have the side stripe as well that says Gauntlet AC on it. That's kind of similar to the Gauntlet AC from the Gauntlet Classic, that's interesting. Then you have the black two-tone. This one looks really cool. Okay, then you got Weekend Warrior, which is just like a camo. We got the Redwood stock car, so you can literally have a newer Redwood Gauntlet if you want, so I thought that's kind of cool. And then too much free time. Don't know what this is, but I guess it's like a Miss Mac, you know, <laughs> I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Definitely uh, interesting. And you got Raceway Hero. That looks pretty sick. And then Bravado Racing. Also another cool one. So I'm going to go with, oh, and there's another one here, I didn't even see that. So you got that one, and then this one as well. So Royal Tribute. Wow, there's a lot of liveries for this car, not bad. So I'm going to be doing the black two-tone. I think that looks really sick. And we're going to go to plates. So I came prepared, I already made the plate beforehand. There we go, I got the demon plate ready. <laughs> that looks so sick. Oh man. So you got rear panel. So we have the stock rear panel, you got the primary, secondary, the carbon rear panel, black surround and plating, and secondary. So I'm going to keep the stock just so we don't, you don't get any pearlescence or anything transferring over. And I don't want the carbon because there, there really isn't any carbon on this car that I've put, so I won't do the carbon either, so we're going to keep the stock. The stock is basically, you know, the front splitter, the um, side skirt as well, if you want to call it that or trim. It's it's all like a matte black um, color that doesn't change with the pearlescent. So it's kind of good if you keep that instead of changing it to a secondary or anything like that. We got respray. Alright, so I really thought about this one, obviously. <laughs> but So I'm going to be doing the sublime green on this car. And I'm sure many of you OG subscribers will know why. I'm not going to say anything, but <laughs> you got, for those of you my OG subscribers, you know why I'm going to do the lime green. So we're going to do the sublime green. 
So that car is a is a, a pearl style lime green in real life. So to do that, all you have to do is do a lime green and then throw a silver pearlescent on it. It's very similar to the real sublime green pearl. Put a pearlescent, and then we'll just throw a silver on there. There we go. Looks phenomenal. And then our secondary color is the roof and the mirrors. So we're going to do that black to match our livery. Oh yeah. That looks amazing. And obviously we're going to get rid of those wheels because for some reason that's a very unfortunate. You can't get rid of the red liner on the wheels. That's the only thing I really don't like. I don't know why Rockstar did that. So I'm definitely going to have a second Hellfire. I'm going to do one all black with the with these wheels and then you know, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna do something different. But I'm definitely gonna have two of these. I'm I'm like in love with this car right now. I'm gonna do that. And then trim color. So it's no it's the interior panels you can see there. So I don't really wanna do lime green. It's just way too much. It's very overpowering. And red doesn't really match, so I'm just gonna leave it with the normal black there. Maybe if you do like a black exterior or a red exterior, you can do a red interior to kinda match, but with green it's very difficult to get something to match with that. So, moving on to the crew emblem, it goes right there on the side of the door if you want to do that. If you can think it, I can do it. And we got the roll cage. You can do a roll cage in this car if you want. And then you can do carbon seats, so you can start changing up the seats if you want to as well. You got cage and sports seats. That looks pretty sick. Cage and performance seats, you can see them change there. Cage and race seats. And then drag seats. So I don't really want to put a roll cage in this car. I kind of want to keep a, a simple interior. I'm not a fan of the roll cages, and I've never really seen a roll cage in a demon. So I mean, unless it's like a full-on drag build one. So I guess if we have the parachute and all that, and the blower, then you can do like you know a full-on drag build. But I'm not doing a roll cage in mine. So you got carbon roof. You can do that if you want. Then you got skirts. So you got primary skirt and then secondary. So like I said before, you leave the stock so you can get that matte black to match all your trim. And then rear spoiler. So you got a secondary lip. And you definitely want to put one of these on here because you can see the traction bar increasing. And then you got the plastic. So this is very similar to the Dodge Demon spoiler. Almost identical. Also to a Hellcat rear spoiler as well. It's just a nice ducktail. Carbon. And then a stock car spoiler. This one's kind of like a drag wing uh, from like um, different drag cars and stuff like that. It's like what it's inspired from. Interesting. And then this one is a mid-level spoiler. And then you just have all the big wangs at the end, which I'm not really a fan of on this car. So I'm going to do the uh, plastic, which matches all the other plastic bits we have going around the border of the car. Okay. Then suspension. So this, this is where it gets interesting. Start lower, 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 and boom. I mean, you can make this thing into whatever you want. I mean, that's just insane. Lower demons look phenomenal, or Hellcat Red Eyes, whatever you know you want to call it. And that just looks so insane. I absolutely love that. I'm definitely going to do that. Transmission. We're definitely getting rid of those wheels now. These things are an eyesore. So I'm going to go with the Hellcat style uh, stock wheels. Those are the uh, regular Cheetahs. And in black. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Oof. Holy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Alright. We got window tint. I think we'll do a light smoke on there. So I'll have a dark one there. I'll do a light smoke. And that's it. That's all the upgrades. Alright, let's see how this thing drives. I'm super excited. Exit to the ground. Oh, this thing looks so good. Absolutely love it. Oh, it sound, the idle sounds really good too. Very good acceleration. And of course we gotta do a wheelie, right? Oh boy. Oh my god. This one will definitely take some practice though. There we go. There we go, we got it! Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. This thing is very, very fast. 
you know, being a muscle car, this feels very fast. We got the interior from the Spectre. That's pretty cool. Not sure how I feel about that, but I mean, I'm guess I'm glad we didn't get the muscle car interior, the normal one they put in most muscle cars. I don't think that one would have fit this car too well. Look at the tail lights there. I'll turn the headlights on. It looks very good. As far as handling, as you know, obviously this thing has to compete against the Piss Washer Dominator, the Yosemite, the Clique, all that. Feels very unstable over the curbs and very sensitive to the bumps. Wow, this car just cut me off. <laughs> the handling feels decent, it's not bad. Not bad. And they kind of, we got like a little hint of like supercharger wine, you can kind of hear it, they tried to do in the background. So I mean the exhaust note's not bad all things considering. I mean Rockstar could have just thrown a regular gauntlet sound in there and just called it a day, but they didn't actually put more thought into it. And I commend them for that. Just a phenomenal job. Let's go ahead and see if, uh, what, you know, if the trunk opens and all that. Let's see. Vehicle doors. Let's do all. Alright, everything opens up. Nice. Got the trunk. Same one from the normal gauntlet. Oh god, look at the tire poke there. <laughs> that's what happens when you lower the suspension. That, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Got the interior there. And our valve covers actually match your primary color. So that's interesting. And like I stated before, that center portion of the hood stays kind of like a shaker. That's so cool. And th those belts actually do spin. So lately, Rockstar has been putting a lot more detail into their cars. I think the first car we saw this with was the uh, Tornado Rat Rod, if I remember correctly. The spinning belts. Awesome. Love that. Just a phenomenal job done by Rockstar Games. We've been wanting this car forever in GTA Online. You know, a Hellcat or a Demon any modern challenger and now we finally have it so I'm excited to see if maybe Rockstar later on they give us like a newer uh, charger or something like a like the new charger Hellcat white body or just a newer charger in general honestly that'd be awesome because Franklin's charger has gotten kind of old and we definitely need something new and fresh like this this just looks so cool very very happy so you go guys do I recommend this car obviously I'm extremely biased <laughs> for this and I'm gonna say yes uh, as far as performance goes, we're going to have to wait for the testing. Um, I'm going to be doing the muscle car, drag races, and all that. So, we'll see how it does. Is it going to beat the Piss Washer Dominator? I honestly have no idea. Based on driving it around on the street, I think the Piss Washer Dominator is still going to have a higher top speed. But I don't think this car is going to be too far behind. It's definitely probably going to be in, like, top 5, top 7, 8, around there. Yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.